G'day Dream Stream family, this is your bubbly host H2O Queen. I hope you are all doing well. If you guys want to go ahead and click on my link in the description below, I do stream on Twitch if you wish to go ahead and um, have a bit of explore and see what my schedule is like. I do stream every Monday, Friday and Sunday. Uh, Monday and Friday is 7pm Australian Eastern Standard Time and Sunday is 11am Australian Eastern Standard Time. Uh, so there has been some really awesome news for um, people like myself who are big into the paranormal investigation genre. Uh, we have got updates coming through for Phasmophobia by the end of this month. Uh, we have a really exciting game that has been developed um, by someone of the name Kyle. Um, if you guys want to go ahead and get all these games, I'm going to put them in my description below so you can get access to them on Steam. And the game is called Obsidio. I myself didn't get an early access key, which is fine, so I can't do any playtest footage. But I am excited to play it once it is released. Again, this is another game that should be released uh, by the middle of this month. Uh, we also have got Ghost Hunters Corp. Now this is a game that came out um, for myself on the 16th of July last month. And as we know the game had a lot of bugs, especially for those that have owned a copy or played it. And um, a lot of the issues fell into multiplayer. Um, that and many other bugs are supposed to be getting resolved. Um, coming up towards the middle of this month as well so this month is absolutely jam packed full of goodies um, I really don't necessarily know what's going to be dropping on ahead for Obsidio or for Ghost Hunters Corp there hasn't really been that many sneak peeks but we're gonna go ahead and jump over onto Phasmophobia Discord because um, in their channel they do have some images released for their development previews and it's some good content so I'm excited to share so stay hold guys and I'll show you just in, this in a bit so we have arrived to Phasmophobia's Discord. I will put in the links below if you aren't already joined to the Phasmophobia server. I do have Ghost Hunters Corp server, but I do not have Obsidia. So if you'd like to go ahead and get Ghost Hunters Corp uh, Discord server, I have also posted that into my description below. So in the description, it says, um, hey everyone, uh, we've opened this channel to show you some previews of what's to come. Feel free to discuss in other channels about what you think. Uh, a sneaky look at the back of the UV flash light model complete with handy dandy a belt clip. Now this has kind of sparked some thoughts. Are we going to perhaps um, get uh, some a belt to wear? So you know how it is for VR players. VR players got up to four slots and I think um, those that are playing non-VR we get up to three slots so I'm thinking to be able to make um, the non-VR players a bit more balanced I'm thinking that we might actually get belts uh, I don't know if that's going to be the case again it's just my personal opinion and a speculation honestly if they did that would be really awesome and very game-changing because we could do so much with that with being able to clip it in and and have a belt and have some equipment on us and we don't have to do as many trips uh, back to the house which I really am excited for and then uh, we have another pick ghost writing anyone so this is a, a sneak peek of the ghost writing book that looks absolutely phenomenal I just love how that has all been rope bound all of the assets that we used for phasmophobia for all the equipment were actually default assets from unity so everything that has been done now has been upgraded to reflect to make it unique exclusively to phasmophobia so congrats to the lead designer um, for the hard work because oh boy these are just really amazing and just the artwork and the design on it honestly reminds me of um, you've got a group of investigators that might not necessarily be financially abundant and have just kind of 
um, crafted together their own book using with whatever resources that they have and I genuinely like the aesthetics of it. Let me know in the comments if you do like this book design. I know it's pretty high up on my like list. Then um, matches are way cooler than lighters. So we have ghost hunting safety matches superior quality uh, conforms to uh, SPIRIT. I love that. So I um, love the design. I love the, um, the little logo on it. Very cute. And I'm thinking that this might be more of a levels one through to five, something like that. I'm just making speculations again. And then maybe for those that are level five, five and up and higher, might get access to the lighters. Now this here is the cream de la cream. It says the final upgrade to the ghost writing book. So this is absolutely amazing. Um, I kind of hope that the, the writing book that they showed earlier will actually become a journal. That would be really phenomenal, but I don't really know just yet what they're doing with that, but hopefully it does get used for our journal. That would be really awesome. Um, so I really do like um, the, I think that's a, not a pentacle, it's a pentagram. Um, let me know in chat if I got that wrong. But so this is our grimoire. Um, and it says Necro um, Micon on it, which is really cool. And I love how they've got the wood design with the leather binding um, and the gold plating onto it. It's just beautiful. I could definitely see that withholding any very strong spirits. Um, that's what's really important because, as you know, if you have been a veteran player like I with Phasmophobia, ghosts can kick books and get pretty rough. So it's nice to know aesthetically that they're thinking about those things and have designed a book that reflects a ghost with how aggressive they can be with handling objects. Uh, because I was too busy with the Grimoire, here's another sneak peek. So this is now um, the lighter, a little bit more different. It's, it's see-through body. I really like it. It's really cool. Again, all assets now are reflecting to the unique design that is exclusively to Phasmophobia. Our familiar spare box has had a bit of a facelift. Orange is cooler than blue and night vision friendly. Um, I must admit, I do like the design. It says, it's even got the model at the back. It says power, um, ghost hunting uh, distribution incorporate. And it's got all the nodules at the back. Like it's even got headsets. It would be really cool if I did bring in headsets. So that way you could actually share the feed with other people in the van. That'd be really cool. I don't know if that's something they'll do in the future. But yeah, this is really nifty now, and um, I like how it's even got like a little backrest, so it seems. But um, we won't really know how it's going to function in game until we actually um, until the game is updated. And EMF is back in black. Now this is going to be a slight problem. Fantastic if you're in the farmhouses because you've got the black wooden boards. But OMG if you are in um, another room of the house that this blends into so it's going to be an absolute nightmare to find aesthetically i like the white um against the uh red for the emf5 i don't know they might go back to white because i think there's going to be a lot of complaints regarding this it might get away on the wooden floors but even then there might be some blending issues and I generally don't know how else it's going to go because if you're running challenges, if for example um, you're not bringing in a flashlight and just using a candle, this is going to make it an absolute nightmare to find and even more so if the ghost is not an EMF ghost. Um, so yeah, I'm interested to see moving forward how um, everyone is going to react to the new um, colour design of the EMF. Looks like ghost hunting team are short on cash. The level one flashlight is a bit older than the current one. Now this here, I actually really like this. It's pretty much my second favorite from the design updates. I love the scuffing of um, the glass. I just love how battered it looks. It just, it has been used over and over again. And the problem that I found was um, with the level one, the only difference you could really tell between the level five and up torches and the level one 
is a level one had the long torches and the level five were a little bit more shorter. And the level five torches also had the distinct red band around it. Um, and it made it really hard to discern, especially for newer players, because they would always grab the level one torch in error instead of the level five, because they're still learning the game. Having these distinct colors is going to really let the newer players go, huh, okay, so this is um, the level one torch. I know not to pick that one up. So I think that's going to be a big winner moving forward for newer players is to actually know uh, what is or isn't level one equipment. Um, so this is wonderful. I love this. So this is going to be our new car photo cameras. So instead of it being Sony, because of course copyright issues, it's going to be called Boney. I love that. Um, of course, we're dealing with ghosts. We have um, bones to find in game. So I think that is extremely apt. And we've got like 20.1 megapixels on the camera. We've got all the groovy uh, gadgets that we need to be able to plug it into computers, for example. And we've got ghost shot GSCW666. I think that's fantastic that they've added in the triple six. Nice little touch for anyone else that does or doesn't notice. Um, but also as well, I am just curious to know, are we going to have a mechanic um, that we actually get to take laptops on site? Because that would be really awesome then to encourage people to get out from the van. If they could start carrying around a laptop and start doing... Um, you know, all the uh, technical stuff inside of the house, that would be amazing. And I know the van might not serve a purpose other than just for going back for equipment, but this might perturb a lot of the um, the van uh, players only that just stick in there. Um, I don't know. Hopefully they might consider doing a, a laptop in the future to be able to for um, tech people. We'll see. And this is beautiful. Um, uh, here's a new Parasonic camcorder for those homemade ghost vids. So this is Parasonic. Again, play on Panasonic, but I love it because like para, parasite, fantastic. So we've got good 4D quality here. Um, 32 um, times uh, zoom, 25 mil wide really loving it all the little tension to details um the design of this has really thought this out very well um so we've got all of our necessities to plug it all in um after we've done our all our recording which i think is absolutely phenomenal um again this is pretty much in my top three favorites um then we have the motion sensor has had a bit of a glow up maybe you'll catch those pesky ghosts easier now, what I like about this, we've got a little bit of um, camouflage going on here, which is really awesome. And it looks like as if um, they've integrated the UV light um, with the motion sensor, which is really cool because we had um, three type of sensors going on. We had the UV light, uh, we had the sound sensor, and then we had the motion sensor. And honestly, um, the UV light very rarely got used and I think uh, I think the devs from uh, the dev from Phasmophobia DK Knight would be very much aware that the poor UV light had no purpose there was no objective for it so it did not have a use so I think this is really great that they've merged two of the sensors together I think that's really smart moving forward so I'm curious to see what's happening moving forward and in the middle, I'm curious, is that an actual camera feed? Are we going to be able to actually see the ghosts from the motion sensor? Or is that just a mechanism that actually lights up like the traditional UV lights? I have a lot of questions about that, but it does look like a camera. But I could be wrong. Again, everything I say in this video is just speculation. I won't know. I don't work on the team. Uh, we won't know until the actual release uh, later this month. So here we go. Back in my day, we could hear the ghost with our ears. This is something we have been longing for for a very long time. Finally, um, our parabolic mic has been updated and it looks absolutely glorious. Um, you can tell, um, I think this has been taken from within the van. And I love the reflection of the computer onto the mic. 
Um, we've even got a visual on it, which I think is fantastic. Um, I just hopefully that the radius is going to be better. Um, it'll be more specific to the ghost rather than picking up on sounds from other players. I'm just curious to see um, moving forward in before the release um, how they're going to make this work better and there's going to be a lot more testing moving forward with regards to um, the parabolic mic which is like really exciting and I'm curious to test it out and just find out the kinks and hopefully this will be actually an item that will stay because just like the UV light the parabolic mic uh, lost its playability after a short period of time even after the update that we had about four months ago so hopefully this is the revamp that the mic needed who needs torches anyways so we've got this okay so this is going to be our parasonic cam can you see it look at that see how they're actually pitch black but yet um the little flip cam is able to per perfectly pick up some light which is fantastic and what's even better yet which is what I like about it the most is that it doesn't have that silly green light which is really good so you don't have to um because that's one thing that is really annoying especially with Ghost Hunters Corp is that when you do put on the UV light it's good it picks up orbs and other stuff but it does make it an absolute nightmare to see the atmosphere or know when you have to switch your hand from the video camera to the photo camera to take a photo of the ghost if it does manifest while you're holding that video camera and it's just enough light it's like a, an afterglow that you could comfortably walk into the house with the camera and not necessarily um, worry about carrying a torch which is something, you know, for myself, especially I'm such a huge um, torch user, it'd be nice to get out of my comfort zone and just rely on a piece of equipment that, you know, that might be able to move me away from that. And this one is question mark, question mark, question mark. So we have no idea on this. This is some type of sensor light, but what it's attached to, I don't don't really know um, it would be really cool if it like freezes ghosts on the spot again everything I say is just speculation I don't know that'd be really nifty so it takes a photo of it and it just paralyzes the ghost for three seconds so that way you can take a photo or get evidence if you need to I don't know um, but it would be really nifty again when you see green you usually think of UV lights um, Honestly, I really don't know much outside of that, which is really cool. Or is this related to a new piece of equipment that is a new piece of evidence that I think I have heard about? And I think this might be a new piece of evidence, but I don't know. We'll have to see because I don't know its purpose. And again, this is the same as earlier. Yep. Oh yeah, I didn't notice it earlier actually. See, there's an arm down here. It's very hard to notice, but that is, that's going to be a new evidence piece. It is something attached to the wall and it's sticking out and it's emanating like some dots or some glows onto it, which is really cool. And there's going to be two new ghosts coming out in this update. Um, something is very vocal and active ghost. They are rumored to be quiet when hunting their prey. Unique strengths, a no one is to be when hunting weaknesses more frequently make evidence we know that that wasn't blurred properly whether it was intentional or not i don't know but i suppose it's going to be fingerprints and goes writing so i'm kind of curious because haha <laughs> that can't be emf5 because as we know um emf5 fingerprints and ghost writing is revenant and you can tell there's a significant g at the end so you know I this is this is not going to be a an update for a revenant so as I said it was it's two new ghosts I'm curious to know uh, this has to be the new piece of equipment that's been blurred down here it has to be unless I don't 
don't know. We'll have to see because that's got me curious as well. And I can tell it's a G.O. I've been having a bit of a browse around to see the type of ghosts and I found a couple. Most of them relate back to um, Japanese um, folklore, but again, I could be wrong. I really don't know what it is. But anyways, it says that can only be revealed when I'm pretty sure it's going to be saying viewing something camera. Unique strands will usually show itself. There are no people nearby. Uh, witnesses, they are rarely seen far from their place of death. Evidence, spirit box, ghost running and dot dot dot. Um, so that's pretty much it for now. Um, there's a lot of talk. These people are trying to discern what's beneath the blurs, but I don't know. I'm just happy just to be kept in, you know, unknown to you, but um, into the unknown. Uh, but for now, I'm really am curious what we're going to be getting. And I don't know. I don't think they're going to be updating any of the old ghosts, but we'll have to see. And our ghost enthusiasts finally decided to tidy up some things and organize. What can you see? Okay, so I'm curious to know what that red pot is. Like, I genuinely don't know what that is. Because that's brand new. So we've got our sanity pills. That is our updated um, thermos, which is great. That is the new bony uh, photo camera, so I can recognize three. That up there looks like as if it should be our parabolic mic, but it's not. I have a suspicion it's not. I think that could be a new piece of equipment. I don't know. I could be wrong. I could be th overthinking it. It could very well be the parabolic mic, but it just got this weird dust clutter underneath it. I don't know why it looks like that. Um, we can actually see candles. It's really hard to make out. But on the second shelf on the far left, you can actually see candles are now on a candlestick, which is like really cool. Um, then we've got um, the transparent uh, flat, uh, tor uh, not torches, sorry, what am I saying? The transparent lighters, uh, crucifixes, and what looks like glue pots, but I know that they're not. Um, I think that's the third shelf is just a rack full of tripods. I think you have to literally fold up your tripods from now on. Because there's one, two, three, four, five, which makes sense. So finally, the space that we have usually when you walk into the, when you're walking out from the van right behind you near the PC where the cork board's at, usually that whole floor is full of tripods. So I'm thinking now finally we can grab a tripod and assemble it, which is so sp uh, space saving. Uh, we've got our, uh, on the right hand side, the top shelf there, we've got EMFs, we've got our spirit boxes. Um, like I say, we're getting into a tarot trotty with these two pieces of equipment here that I have. I can tell that's the ghost writing book. So, oh, okay then. So, wow, okay. So that's a ghost writing book. Oh, it's the Grimoire, our journal. Oh, we got you. So the bound ones are actually our ghost writing books and the Grimoire is actually our journal. Cool. All right, then that's really great. But this is a new piece of equipment. This might be the one that we saw with the, with the green UV lights. We can 100% see that is our video cameras next to whatever that new piece of equipment is. Now, question is, why do we have so many video cameras? Now, as we know, this game only hosts four players. Is there going to be a battery life on these cameras? So meaning, can we only hold the cameras for 15 minutes before they go flat? Because I guess that's going to have to be a disadvantage or a weakness to such a strong piece of equipment that you can roam around the whole house with. Surely there has to be a pair of that you have to charge these cameras or that once you've used it for a real time of 10, 15 minutes, it'll go flat. I'm just curious to see what they do moving forward. Um, then we can see there are four of the level one um, uh, torches on the second shelf down below. Um, now that's our smudge sticks. Are we only going to get two smudge sticks? Because I'm looking at that and those are smudge sticks and there's only two. These ones next to the smudge sticks are four of our level five and up piece of equipment. Sound sensors are still going strong. I think 
the ones next to the sound sensor on the third shelf. I think that's still our glow sticks. I cannot identify what this one is. I really don't know. And our crucifixes are next to what I think is a glue pot, but I know it's not. Um, but yes, yeah, so there's a couple of pieces of equipment yet I can't identify. And I think the one down next to the glow sticks, that might be the upgraded um, camouflage styled motion sensor or UV light. So I'm extremely curious to actually figure out um, what is happening moving forward with these video cameras because that's made me really curious now and the smudge sticks I really hope there's going to be four still especially for the adventurous people that really do like going in and trying to challenge the ghost and you know especially if it's crazy uh, hunting like crazy and you're trying to get the repel ghost objective I'm curious to see what happens with that moving forward Thank you so much for watching. I hope you did find this video informative. If you did, please give this video a big thumbs up and please smash the subscribe bell. Your support is much appreciated. Um, I just want to apologize to anyone that is actually enjoying my uh, paranormal investigation content. Um, for myself, personally, I'm going through some mental health challenges at the moment and it's um, taking a toll on my ability to be able to create content at the moment, um, even with Twitch streaming as well. Um, so thank you so much uh, for all your patience and understanding. It's just going to be a little bit of time before I get into um, a state that I'm going to be okay, but I am on the road to getting better and I do appreciate all of your patience. I hope that this Phasmophobia update will be the step in the right direction that I need. I try and not compare myself as a content creator to um, content creators like InSim or Psycho Hypnotic, um, etc., etc. Um, but I do find it difficult for myself, especially because I do identify and I have anxiety to be able to do challenges um, like doing uh, Repel the Ghost with a smudge stick or trying to escape a hunt. Um, I find all of those very difficult for me without, because um, no one wants to see anyone panicking on um, a whilst they're recording or on stream. So I avoid those so I don't, um, you know, uh, elevate or aggravate anyone else's mental health. So that's why I don't do a lot of those objectives, but I don't know. I'm hoping that maybe with the new update with different things, um, I might get more comfortable with being able to do some challenges I might not have done before. Um, I'm also really excited. Um, I really hope that um, Obsidio is a game that I personally am going to enjoy. Uh, so I would definitely like to be able to create regular content on that game. I really like the work that Kyle has created on this and also I really am a big fan of Ghost Hunters Corp and I think that has a long-term future just like Phasmophobia. So all these three games coming forward I am so excited for. I absolutely devour and love my paranormal investigation games. I have had a fascination for the other side since um, my mid-teens. So all these games just really tickle my box and just become more than just a horror genre, but a way to be able to express myself in a way that any other game can't. Again, I really do appreciate you watching. I know this was an exceptionally long video, but again, it just means the world to me that you've taken the time to watch this. And I really hope you are excited for the updates as much as I am and for the new game drop of Obsidio. Let me know in the comments below um, what game you are excited to, uh, if you're excited for Obsidio and what updates you're excited for the most. This is your bubbly host, H2O Queen over and out. Peace, love, light, enjoy, enjoy the rest of your day. Take care, Dream Shame family, and all the best.